everybody welcome back to my channel I have four books to show you today I was lucky enough to get these books sent to me from carltonbooks.co.uk they are all um, the books are all similar but different if that makes sense the books are all coloring and craft but they're different as far as the crafts of course and the pattern this one is patterns flowers we've got vintage and then we have mandalas so I'm just gonna do some flip throughs and we'll get started here and I'll show you what I mean about same but different these are nice big thick heavy books well made well put together the paper is really thick nice paper um, let me see this is for people who like to color and also who like to do crafts um, these books are be really beautiful well done let me get a little bit closer here for you guys um, at the beginning they show they tell you an introduction um, they tell you all about the books and the crafts that you're gonna um, be able to do in here they give you color palettes that you could use if you're when you're coloring that will go really really nice with the theme of the books these are really really nice color palettes for any coloring book and then right here these two pages they show you the actual um they show you the actual um projects that you can do here and the, what they look like when they're finished um, they have some really really cute things mobiles they got boxes they got stationery um, party bags wrapping um cards really really nice every single one of them has a pattern alphabet also which is really nice i like that and then you get all the patterns you can use this paper you can glue some of them you can glue onto here and cut it out instead of coloring it if you didn't want to these are also colored double-sided just like double-sided scrapbook paper using the same color palette i love this paper i think it's so awesome it actually makes me want to get out my scrapbook supplies so you get all this paper and you get the it says projects again it shows you the different ones and it, it, here it goes um, it starts with your little projects let me get a little closer so you can kind of see like this is birthday card toppers you color the one side and then you color the back or you can use the pattern paper and cut it out um, and then you just follow the lines they have detailed instructions on how to put everything together some of these are more advanced um, and some of them you could do with your kids they're very easy and because you're going to be coloring it and cutting it out anyway a kid could just even go out the side the lines it would not matter because you're going to be cutting it out anyway and then they can make it their own and that's really what it is they are all this is kitchen storage labels you can laminate some of them make it your own project you could maybe just get ideas and do your own thing here are some dominoes you can make it, it suggests that you laminate them afterwards so you can keep them and then on the backs they have really cute patterns but you could also like glue together here's a little jewelry box I think you get the picture it is really really neat how they did this um, I've never seen this idea I think it's very unique fish quilt of course it's not a real quilt lots and lots of these here to do okay and when you get to the end all of the books have a really cool alphabet that you can cut out and use color it letter it put it in your kids room this is one of those mobiles that we you know all did as a kid you cut it out on the lines all right that's the pattern coloring book and then here is the flowers I'm just gonna flip through a little bit so you can see what's in each book as far as the crafts this coloring palette though how pretty is that this book has um, card toppers, a lot of pop-up cards, cake stand, a little birdhouse you can make out of paper. Isn't that neat? Garland, a headband for your little princess, hot air balloon, a container, 
uh, this one has a game, uh, tic-tac-toe, a sleeve for your vase that you could slide on, paper cut frame, really cute, and seat packets. And here's the paper, that in paper, double-sided. This is so pretty. I just want to cut this page out and frame it. And you don't have to use this paper. You can use any paper you have. You can use your own scrapbook paper or whatever you have. It's all up to you. Here's some thank you cards. Pop-up gift cards. And you can make copies if you wanted to make more than one. These are fridge magnets. These are so cute. It's the back side. I would probably cut these out in the pattern paper, laminate it, put the magnet on the back. Adorable. Little mushroom. This is a cake stand, a little paper cake stand. Garland. You get the idea. That's the flowers one. Here is the vintage one. I love the palette in all of these books, but this one I think is my favorite. And here are the projects in this book. Let's start over here. We got uh, party invitations, welcome to my new home cards, gift tags, more garland, envelopes, labels for your jam or preserves, standing bird, Christmas ornaments, a home sweet home picture, one of those little pendant boxes. You can actually make a cactus here. Notebook cover. Really just oh, so many cute things. This is really vintagey, like the Jetson paper here. So neat. Beautiful. And here we go with the projects. Party decorations new home card, the gift tags, you could laminate that and make a really nice um, tag for your, for anything really, but your luggage. Indoor bunting, but like I said, you look at this and go, oh my gosh, I don't want to color all that, that looks tedious, but you don't have to, you can, but um, cut it out on we can cut it out or glue it onto the pattern paper and then cut it out because the paper's double sided unless you want to color both sides totally up to you there are a lot of really neat projects in these books okay last but not least here is the mandala coloring craft book Again, these are by Carlton Books. Here we go with the color pattern. Palette, sorry. This is really, really nice. I love this one. For the Matryoshka dolls, which I'm definitely going to make because I collect those. More cards, um, embroidery hoop. That's really neat and different. Uh, pebble paper paperweight and cover and decoupage a stone with the paper. One of those jumping jacks. We got another alphabet. Gift bags, streamers, gift tags. And here's the pretty paper. Really nice mandalas. Isn't this gorgeous? Some of this paper is too pretty to cut up. Here are the projects again, and then it goes right into your mandala card topper. I think this one would be really fun to use my little markers in this. This is a greeting card. Envelopes. And what's great is you can cut this out, make a copy of it, and you'll have you'll have the template for these things, like this envelope. You'll have the template for it. You can make them over and over again. This is the pa pebble paperweight. You can color it and then fit it over your stone. Decoupage it over your stone, I should say. I know I'm going kind of fast, but this video is getting very long.
paper cut rainbow spiral streamers you cut it out glue this onto the double sided paper start at the line cut it out put you some uh, string here and it'll be a beautiful streamer and here's some little ones to hang on with it gift bags I just I just really really like these I just think they're so unique so different um, I think on the back yeah, on the back it tells you all the ones that, as far as I know they only have the four so once again, we've got the vintage, the flowers, the pattern, and the mandalas. And I will post a link to where you can purchase these and um, check them out if you like them. I'm not affiliated with them. I didn't get paid to do this. They just sent this to me to review my honest opinion. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down at the bottom. And I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.